All right, pretty much I have 10 kombuchas here. I'm going to drink all of these. Mango. So before I go to the store, I need to do a little bit of research, you know, find out what I'm getting myself into exactly. This might, uh, this might be pretty unhealthy, but I am here on bustle.com and it says, can kombucha make you drunk? What you need to know about getting tipsy from the probiotic tea. All right. All right. The nutritious and trendy probiotic drink kombucha dates all the way back to the Quinn dynasty in 250 BC. There's no way. When it was used to aid digestion, balance the middle Q, chi, the stomach and spleen, and help people focus on healing. Interesting, interesting. But what about the rumors that kombucha can make you drunk? Well, let's find out. Did Ellie do? During fermentation, the yeast transforms sugar into alk. Blah. During fermentation, the yeast transforms sugar into alk. During fermentation, the yeast transforms sugar into alcohol but some of the ethanol is left over, resulting in between 0.5 and 3% of alcohol. They do have alcoholic kombucha, but we are not going to get that today. We are getting non-alcoholic kombucha. Well, technically, it has 0.5%, which is just the amount where they don't have to put on the nutrition facts. So let's see if this thing is quite unhealthy. Can you really get drunk off of it? It really depends on what you've got your hands on. It's highly unlikely. It says here that th more than three in a day is unhealthy. I'm going for more than three times that. Oh no, that's not good, that's not good. It says you might be getting even mistaking a natural energy boost for uh, being slightly drunk. This is normal. <coughs> it has 15 milligrams of caffeine, it's not a lot. What I got from that is that you can get a buzz from alcohol or get drunk if you're severely light and are a lightweight. I mean, I don't drink, so it's gonna depend on my weight and how much I drink, to be honest, but more than three in a day is very unhealthy, it says here, so. Why not? Why not, right? What does kombucha do to the body? A great source of antioxidants, contain probiotics. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It kills bacteria. Wow, wow, the more you know, the more you know. Reduce the risk of heart disease. Fair play, fair play. Looks like I'm never gonna have heart disease again because I'm drinking so many. Green tea benefits. One of the healthiest drinks in the world. I don't think so. It controls blood sugar. Control of diabetes. Man, I'm about to be the healthiest man alive, or am I? Prevents cancer. I don't know about that one. Improve mental health. All right, so what you're saying is I'm gonna be mentally sane the rest of my life. That's what, that's what I'm getting from this, mentally sane. Lose weight. I mean, we could always lose a few extra buffy buffs, you know? Improve your liver health. For some reason, I feel like my digestive system is just gonna be ruined because I'm having so many. I don't, I don't buy that. Maybe if you have one or two. Help with detoxifying, it's always good. Improve your gut health, wow, wow, wow. Provide vitamin B, plays a key role in bone health. Maintain cholesterol levels. I actually have high cholesterol, so I'm about that, I'm about that. All right, well, you saw it here first, gamers. It's a... Uh, it's looking, it's looking, not, it's not looking too bad. I, I'm quite optimistic. I'm quite optimistics. Optimistics? Logistics? Statistics? Let's head to the store, guys. Let's go get some kombucha. And we will see if these websites are accurate. Honestly, this is for a small scale. I'm going to be having quite a lot. And I'm honestly really nervous. I do not know what to expect. But you don't know until you try, right? All right. Let's get into this. All right, guys, I'm now at Walmart. Here we go again. I am testing yet another theory that probably won't end up well for me, but you know, I'm risking it for the biscuit. We're, we're doing it today. 10 kombuchas in a day does not seem healthy at all, let alone an hour of kombucha drinking. 10 in an hour? It just doesn't seem safe, but here we go. I'm gonna go inside Walmart.
sorry for the lack of footage in Walmart. I do get a little bit of evidence. Whoa. A little bit of evidence. A little bit of evidence. Let's look at today's haul. Oh, baby. Rip the light piece. 10 kombuchas. Let's check out the nutritional facts on these bad boys. Personally, the watermelon wonder is my favorite. Yes, I did buy the non-alcoholic ones. We got 70 calories in one, zero fat, 20 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams of carbs. Wow, I'm gonna have a lot of carbs today. 18 grams of sugar, no protein. Ingredients, kombucha, black tea, green tea, fresh pressed watermelon juice, cherry juice orange juice and pure love. Aww. Please note, kombucha is a fermented tea that has naturally occurring alcohol. Do not consume if you are avoiding alcohol due to pregnancy, allergy, sensitivities, or religious beliefs. Well, lucky for me today, we're trying to get drunk. Gluten-free, vegan, raw. Wow, wow, wow. This is gonna be interesting, guys. From the research, it's not healthy to have like more than three a day, so we're doing more than three times that. <sighs> Let's just pray I don't die. That's the worst that can happen. Renew, rebalance, rebuild, reclaim, rekindle, recharge. They really like the reword. All right, well, I will see you guys back at the house because I got some drinking to do. Come in. What's up? What's up, man? You think this is, uh, you think this is gonna work? What? Drinking kombucha today. Just try to get a buzz from alcohol. Really? Yeah, really. Does it have, it has alcohol in it? It does, it has just the low enough amount that they legally don't have to put it on the nutritional facts. Wow, I know there is kombucha that does have alcohol. I, I bought them now. It is alcoholic. I bought the non-alcoholic ones. And that one has? It has 0.5%, so a beer has like about 4%. Wow. So I bought 10 of them to see if I drink them fast enough, if I can get a buzz. I don't think it's gonna work. You don't? There's no way. I haven't ate today, or drinking water. Like, no water. Yeah, I still don't think it'll work. All right, man, let's see what happens. I'm Honest opinion, man, I don't think it'll work. You don't think it'll work? Nah, no way, dude. I think I might get a buzz, just because I don't drink, you know? What is, a what is a buzz on the uh, breathalyzer? <laughs> is that <laughs> point it, six? It depends on zero point six. Point six. Six. <laughs> You're dead at that point, you just pass out. No, um, it depends on how much you weigh and how much you drink. So obviously, you know, I'm 20, I don't drink, and I weigh about 155. So I'd say like if I'm at 0.05, that's a buzz. I'm buzzing. Wow. All right, man. All right. So if I do get a buzz, what do I win? A high five. All right, sick. <laughs> All right, we are now back at the house and I'm going to take a breathalyzer test to prove to you guys that my blood alcohol content is 0.00. .00. Official breathalyzer. Zero point zero zero. All right, pretty much I have 10 kombuchas here. I'm going to drink all of these. I was going to do 30 minutes, but that's three a minute, and I honestly don't know how that's gonna end up. So I'm gonna shoot for an hour, 10 kombuchas in one hour. I have two watermelon wonders, two mangoes, two guava goddesses, two trilogies, ginger berry, and ginger eggs. So I've only tried the watermelon wonder, so I'm excited to try the new flavors, and well, let's get into it. If you put 10 kombuchas into perspective of alcohol content, each one has about point five percent of alcohol. A normal beer here is about 4%. That's why they don't have to put on the nutrition facts because it's so low that literally you have to drink so many to feel anything. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to try to get drunk off of kombucha. I'm gonna start out with Watermelon Wonder and probably finish with Watermelon Wonder just cause you know it's my roots. And well, I guess get into it. First sip, first sip. Ooh, you could taste like, without even tasting it. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Enlightened for everyone everywhere. 473 milliliters. I have 10 of these and they're each 18 carbs. So that's 180 grams of carbs in kombucha. Let's go. Is anyone else doing this on the internet? I don't think so. Make sure you guys drop a like. I started the timer late, but that's one down in just under two minutes. Next up, Mystic Mango. Ooh, I don't know if I'm a fan of this one. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah. Walk through the world with grace and flow. Mango. Guava goddess. This sounds so good. See, I like guavas in real life, but I say in real life, what is this, a virtual reality simulation? I like real guavas is what I meant to say. So I do not know how this is going to taste, but 
I guess I gotta find out, right? Terrible digestion problems after this, let me tell you. This is really hard, like I'm really underestimating the power of kombucha. Kombucha. Words of enlightenment. To be fully present with others is a rare and astonishing gift. Uh, whatever that means. <coughs> <coughs> This is just gonna turn into me being the most miserable, I can't even speak, the most miserable human being on planet Earth. All right, we're gonna do a breathalyzer checkup. Maybe I blow out some, it'll, it'll get me going. Still point zero zero. Four down. Oh, it says do not microwave. Welcome back. I don't know how to read. All right. It's actually not that bad. The amount of times I've moaned in the past hour sounds like I'm having sex. It's about to hit one hour. I'd say in like 30 seconds, so. Shoot, we could chug this and be five, in five in an hour, but we're gonna give it another breathalyzer. I doubt it'll be at 0.01. But, you don't know until you try, right? Still point zero zero. How many did you drink? Four. How you doing? Terrible. I bet. Dude, like, it's actually way harder than the 10,000 calorie. I bet. I, it's just been about an hour in. An hour and three minutes and I'm almost with five. So if I keep it up, it should take about two and a half hours. Well, if you don't finish that trilogy, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll save it. Where, are you heading now? Yeah. No way. Ooh. <laughs> 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 All right, well that's five down in an hour and 10 minutes. <sighs> I'm not gonna die. Well, maybe. Now I'm drinking the ginger aid and this one sucks. I'm personally a really big fan of ginger. Terrible. I'm working on number six right now and I don't feel a dang thing. I feel very jittery. My tolerance is low, I don't drink at all, you know I'm 20. We out here being a good citizen. We're not drinking until we're 21, if, if that. But my 21st is actually coming up. I wanna go skydiving actually, off topic. I'm just creating conversation at this point while I wait to take these next few sips. Mm. Disgusting! If you guys have had kombucha, drop your favorite flavor down in the comments. I believe they didn't have one flavor. I think there's seven of them. I could be wrong. Not a big kombucha guy, but watermelon wonder, man. I'm just, I'm saving that one for last. So honestly, that's the only thing I'm looking forward to at this point because my whole inside body feels like it's in Antarctica. Jeez, buddy scared me, eh? Hello. Shout out to Ryan for the subby. <laughs> All right, bro. Uh, I'll see you later, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, some food in my stomach. Mmm. Mmm. Man, it would have been so cool to see .01. It's still .000. You could have 50 of these and you would still be able to drive. I got one of every flavor besides, flavor? What's a flavor? Of every flavor besides the ginger berry because that's, in, I only got one. <sighs> Rebalance, reawaken, rethink, rekindle, redefine, rediscover, restart, regain, renew, rebirth, recapture, reclaim. Reinvent, repurpose, relive, reimagine? What is this, some type of drug? There's no way they think that their product is so uplifting that it does all that. I'm just sorry. Number seven, we have Mystic Mango. Let me just put this in there again. Research I did from multiple websites. Having three in one day is very unhealthy. I've now done double that. I need help. Okay. 
If Troy can tell his secret, I can tell mine. If Troy? I love to bake. Strudel, scones, even apple pandata. What are you talking about? So you drunk yet? No. You can throw up, I'll grab the camera and film. Oh, it, it'll, I, it can see the sink. Are you gonna throw up in my kitchen sink? Where else, where, where else would you want in to throw up? In the toilet. Well, okay, if I can- Don't throw up in my kitchen sink. <laughs> Seven down. I just hit the two hour mark. If you think about it, if 10 kombuchas is like one and a half beers, if you drink one and a half beers in two and a half hours, your blood alcohol content's probably gonna be at zero. A normal dad, that's probably two beers an hour. To have half of that in twice the amount of time, it makes sense. I'm an idiot for thinking I only got to 0.05. Ryan, you were right. Oh yeah. I look so defeated. I feel defeated. I got two more in front of me. I just know it's not a good idea. I'll probably get sick if I'm not gonna get sick already. Last sip of number eight. This one's for all you guys still watching. If you've got this far into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Cheers. Two hours and seven minutes to drink eight. So that's one about every 15 minutes, which I think is respectable to keep, if you consistent, if you just have one throughout the day, sure, it'll take me 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but to consistently drink for an hour, for two hours? What did I learn today? I learned that kombucha is very carbonated. It makes you very full. I also learned that if I'm gonna do an eating or drinking challenge, <sighs> I probably shouldn't not eat. I was just not drinking water, not eating. I'm gonna take one more breathalyzer. Well, it says zero, but no kombuchas. Highly unlikely I'll ever have a kombucha again. People say that eight to 10 kombuchas, because I drink eight, can get you a buzz. Yes, that means you have to do it in a certain time frame, and well, I just couldn't do it. Loser. Usually lighter, people lighter than me drink kombucha, so they have a lower tolerance for this, but after drinking eight kombuchas, I have a pulsating headache, my stomach is churning, I'm dehydrated because I haven't had much water, and I'm really jittery still. I, I have an energy, but I don't because I'm so full. The theory I tested didn't come back the way I wanted it to. I was hoping for a little bit of a buzz, honestly, just so I could give you guys that feedback. It didn't happen. Until next time, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Like, let's go. 2020 is the year. Appreciate you guys. Peace.